Hi, I'm Choi and welcome to my kitchen. Damini, my daughter and I, we're going to be making halwa today for breakfast. It's an Indian dessert which is actually very good for you. A dessert that people make all the way from India, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iran, Turkey, the Middle East. We have many, many varieties of halwa. I'm going to teach my daughter Damini how to make it. We're going to make one version for you, but please feel free to improvise to add new ingredients. We buy all our ingredients, zero waste, in these nylon bags from Sprouts, and we come home and put them into these containers. I bought these for my apartment in college, so my roommates and I only use these. Lamini, take two cups of the semolina flour and put it in that heavy bottom pan, because otherwise it will stick if it's a heavy bottom pan. So let this roast, and you can start making the jaggery liquid. We're going to take four cubes of the jaggery and add it to about five cups of water and boil it till the jaggery dissolves in the hot water. We're going to put cardamom. So grind it, Damini. Just break them apart. A little harder. Use some muscle, Damini. Okay. No, this is my grandmother's mortar and pestle. So it means a lot to me to see you <laughs> crushing cardamom in it. We're going to add the cardamom. How yes. brown does it have to be? That's a good question. You see the browning that's yeah. happening? You, you want the whole, all of that semolina to be that color. Okay. So the next step, we're going to crush the saffron. Is that too much? Oh, no, it's never too much saffron in the world. Okay. <laughs> and then when you're done, Namni, add it to that milk. Let okay. it soak. Do about half a cup of walnuts because we're going to... Yeah, yeah, just estimate that many. Get away from that the tyranny of measurements. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Then you can add pistachios, cranberries. The best part of cooking is making the recipe your own. The anti-recipe, that's what we want. Well, uh, I was little, I would beg my mother for walnuts and raisins. And they used to come from Afghanistan. The Afghan traders would come in the winter and sell these delicious nuts and fruits. They don't come anymore to many national borders. But even the raisins in India taste better than the ones here. They're sour. They're less sweet. We lack cranberries in India. They, of course, use raisins, but we have to acknowledge the new world. Can you smell it, Chana? Yeah, it's starting to smell. Yeah. You know, in India, we believe that smell is half of eating. You have to learn when this is ready mm -hmm. by what it smells like, right? You know, Indian cooking, you spend a lot of time dry roasting ingredients. And we believe that this really brings out the flavors. Rami, you were right. I was too stingy with the pistachios. Yeah, <laughs> Add a few more. Okay. That was my sister and my favorite desserts whenever my mom would make it. We were always really excited. <laughs> that was my favorite dessert when I was a child. So it's nice now to see the three generations we've been making halwa. We're going to dry roast the seeds. Let's take that pan. That's what a pan will look like if you use it for dry roasting. Add uh, two tablespoons of flax seeds, two of each seeds. We're going to dry roast the seeds, put it on low heat, and you have to watch it because sesame burns really fast. You can't really make halwa without a lot of ghee. So I would add at least four tablespoons. Fat has been so demonized and people have been eating ghee in India for thousands of years. It's a powerful anti-inflammatory. And so do eat more ghee. We're going to fry it up till you can smell the ghee. You can now pour the jaggery water into the flour mix. Perfect. Now just cover it and let it simmer. So jaggery is unrefined sugar cane juice. Refined sugar is mostly sucrose, but jaggery has a lot of iron and has a lot of minerals. So it's actually very good for you. And it tastes a lot better, I think. And then just let it be down for about 10 minutes. Let's see what we did. It looks darker than you when it's with sugar. Yeah, and I, I like that. And I just want to say that our family, my husband is Pakistani and I'm Indian, and halwa goes across the borders. We all eat halwa, we all love halwa. And you've had it in Karachi, you've yeah. had it in Kolkata. And then we garnish it with saffron and the seeds. So Damni, I'll tell you why this is so good for you. You have the whole grain flour, which is high fiber. Mm -hmm. The ghee is a powerful anti-inflammatory. The nuts and the seeds are protein and all the essential oils that we need and some amino acids. And then the jaggery gives you iron. What do you think? Was it a little more sweet or? I think it's perfect. It's the best you've made it. Really? <laughs> Thank you, Damni. 
For people who haven't tasted a damani, I would describe it as it has a rich texture because the flour has been roasted. The nuts and the cranberries add a lot of crunch. It has enough ghee to make your taste buds explode. And now that I know how to make it, I'm excited to, when I go back to school next week, I can go and make it for my friends and I'm sure they'll all love it. <laughs> Cheers, Damani! <laughs> Welcome to Living Back at the Table. Our side Chatterjee home is an experiment in home building and in community making. And we believe that the home should be the basis of sustainable living. Come and visit us. <laughs>